Hey, we're mixing it up with this one. This is a queen ant, and she has the next thousand days to create an empire. But a rival colony is watching their every move, and if she fails, they will wage a war, destroy her home, and take over mine. Every once in a while, I do see a video recommendation that makes me pause. This is a whole new subject for me. Simulating an ant colony for 1,000 days. Nearly three years worth of footage. And I guess the perfect place for me to use the, like, two ant facts that I know. Everything depends on her. So over the first few days, she creates a nest, and if we look underground, her first generation is underway. She got to work. But in the world above, they will have to face competition and rival colonies. Their journey has only just begun. I just realized she must have come pregnant. How does one find one singular pregnant red ant? She will never leave the safety of her nest, so she creates workers to serve and protect her. But the enemy has already arrived. A wild ant on the hunt for new territory. This wild colony lives on my windowsill. Oh my god. You see, I feel bad about it, but I can't just let a colony of ants live on my windowsill. That's how it starts. That's how you get an infestation. I'd have to just wipe it down. The workers act quickly. They are beginning to build a wall. Wow. They will stop at nothing to protect their queen, and pretty soon their entrance is sealed. But war is coming, and if they want to survive, they will need an army. And for that, they need food. They specialize in collecting seeds. Their job is to transport them underground where they store them in a bakery. A what? Here, they ground and crush the seeds into bread. Ant bread. What? I didn't know ants made bread. This looks like the larva. Harvester ants make ant bread by collecting seeds, chewing them, mixing them with their saliva to create a starchy dough-like food to feed their colonies. It is the perfect food for their growing larva. And 70 days later, the results are clear. There was a population boom, all powered by their tiny bakery. But the new workers are weak and clumsy. They need sugars like honey. Yet the honey stayed untouched for days until it was discovered by a wild ant. Thankfully, she's alone. Already told all her friends. Or so I thought. They launched an attack. This is nothing. What is going on here? It looks like they're pulling this ant limb from limb. They are swarming her. Possibly tag teaming her. This is one, two, three, four, five. What, seven v one? Crazy, because I would have thought that the red ants could easily overpower those smaller ants. Completely misread that one. Compared to the war, yet the colony is overrun. But I tried to save as many of our ants as I could. But it was already too late. What? The damage had already been done. The black ants were working together as a team. Why weren't the red ants? I spent hours removing the enemy, one by one by one. This is crazy. Most of the colony did not survive. And those that did are badly injured. But ants are one of the few animals that respect their dead. So the remaining few build a graveyard. I don't remember why we were talking about this in another video, but when ants die, they secrete the smell to alert the other colony to bury them. But if that smell gets on a live ant, the colony can't tell the difference and they try to bury that one too. Oleic acid, it's called. Oleic acid is also found in foods. 
like olive oil, avocado, nuts, and seeds. There are some things I don't need to know. It is almost unbelievable. They may have lost the battle, but will they win the war? The colony is weaker than ever, but they still need honey to survive. Last time, it caused a disaster. This time, they act with caution and begin to feed. You can even see their tongue as they drink up the honey. I've never seen a red ant so close up. Look at all those little sensory hairs. But then something remarkable happens. They are covering the honey in dirt and debris. It is genius. They are hiding it from the wild colony. <gasps> protecting the honey means protecting their queen. She is the only one in the nest who can lay eggs. The only one in the nest who can lay eggs? All of these babies came from her? It sounds so inconvenient for her. Queens are responsible for laying all eggs. Colonies can have one or many queens. The vast majority of the colony consists of sterile females that perform various tasks. Male drones are the winged ants and they have a single purpose, to mate with new queens after which they die. Okay. So the queen ant is something like the queen bee. All of the others protect it with its life and it's the only one that can mate. And technically everyone here is family. And the queen is mother. If she dies, the rest of the colony is doomed. But with her survival, the colony thrives. One year in. By day 600, the colony had become a fortress. They are thriving. But it is time to put their defenses to the test. Here are 100 fruit flies. They are small, annoying, and a lot like my mother-in-law. They scatter. The ants begin to panic while many of the flies stand still. Why if they fun? don't move, then they may remain unseen. Ugh. But this one makes a run for it. And so does that one, and that one, and that one. But this one was not as lucky. Nothing quite skeeves me out like seeing a fly rub its front legs together. They appear to always be scheming. But honestly, I will take fruit flies over mosquitoes any day. Mosquitoes are the worst, most dangerous to humans, most annoying to have in your room at 3 a.m. That little <laughs> sounds like a threat. He is the first kill of many. Even though they caught most of the flies, a few managed to escape. But the escaped flies were not as safe as they thought. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. The wild colony. Their numbers have grown so large, they've spread far beyond my windowsill and overtaken my animal room. Animal my room? My pets aren't a fan of their new roommate. It seems our colony is not as prepared as I thought. So over the next year, our colony became an empire. But the wild colony acted in parallel. Both of them are fully preparing for war. He just let this wild colony live on his windowsill? Having an animal room is wild. Not in my house. But this one escaped into my kitchen. I didn't know why until I returned. There was an all out war. And the enemy had already made their way underground. Oh my. They have to save the queen, so she is brought to the deepest part of the colony. Captivating.
The rest of the nest had been abandoned, and the remaining workers swarmed the queen. But a worker sad. was left behind, fighting to break free. Oh my god. But the enemy wanted more. The larva. One by one, they begin to die. Savage. A thousand days led up to this. The queen right began alone to create an empire. Right back. But would they let it fall? To Not me on the side of the red ants. And I don't like red ants. I've been bit by a few, but the narrative, the storytelling pulled me in. To save their queen, our colony turns not to flee, but to fight. They begin they to, to rally together. to their queen. Even my pets join the fight. They breached the surface and the enemy was on the run. They were winning and pretty soon they had won. The wild colony was never to be seen again. Check out this <laughs> video for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Immediate thumbs up on this video. This is from Dr. Plants. You're going to find the channel down below. If you liked it, go give him a like. And thank you for recommending. It was so visually stimulating. When I was a kid, I used to want one of those smaller ant farms between the two plates of glass. But my mom never let me get it because she said that it would inevitably fall and just create chaos. But for whatever reason, sea monkeys were okay. How many ants do you think there are in this world? Billions? Hundreds of billions? Even that sounds kind of low. Trillions? Oh, I was so wrong. There are an estimated 20 quadrillion ants in this world. And that's from a 2022 study that analyzed the data from hundreds of studies across all continents. And that means that there are about 2.5 million ants for every human. Insane. I don't have any music or book recommendation for you today, so leave your thoughts. Thank you for watching with me, and I'll see you next time.